Hey y'all, it's Mel Sherry again, and today I'm coming to you with another review um, for some products that were sent to me um, by NaturallyCurly.com. Once again, NaturallyCurly.com does not pay me to do these reviews, they just send me the products, so these are my honest opinions, yada, yada, yada. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Intensive Treatment Line. This is a little pamphlet. Uh, that came with it and, and basically it just shows you all the products uh, and whatnot and um, I received every single product that's in in the olive oil and mango butter intensive treatment line because they have um, they have another line neither here nor there right so let's just go ahead and get right get into it and that's the product that I got in my hair so Y'all already know. Y'all already know. I ain't even gotta say because y'all can see my hair. <laughs> y'all see where I'm going. And I, I'm having mixed feelings right now. And I'm hoping that second day hair um, comes out looking better, which I think it might. But for right now, I am a little bit. Hmm, hmm. But let's just get right into the review. So the first product um, I'm gonna start in order from usage um, was the olive oil and mango butter anti-moisture butter shampoo and here it is and let me just say now before I forget um, I'm gonna try to put the ingredients in the description box if I can find them and the prices and whatnot um, these products are not curly girl friendly because I do have a lot of people that ask me if they're curly girl friendly no they are not so these are not for you if you're on uh, the curly girl method um, just looking at the ingredients real quick. There's a lot of cones. I know that on the Curly Girl line you don't use cones and whatnot. So, yeah. So this is um, their intensive treatment, their shampoo. Um, it doesn't say sulfate free, so I'm going to assume that they are sulfates in this shampoo. This is a 12 fluid ounce. Um, this shampoo had a little, it, the texture was a different than other shampoos that I have used. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but get that bubble out of the way but um it's very thick it's a very very thick white pearly white um shampoo but nonetheless it's a nice shampoo it didn't strip my hair it didn't have my hair feeling um hard or it didn't feel like it tangled it it's a very nice shampoo and i do i do like it so for you know for a shampoo it's good it's different it's thick it took me a while to work it in there because it's so thick um, but nonetheless, a good shampoo didn't, like I said, didn't strip my hair or nothing like that. Next product I use. Oh, and let me just say, this is now that I'm moving on to the next product, this line, to me, it seems like they did too much. And then in certain parts, they didn't do enough. And this is where it comes in right now. So you would think that there would be a conditioner after the shampoo, but there's no conditioner like a rinse out conditioner after in this line or nor do I think there's a deep conditioner. They, I received the entire line, so there's no conditioner. So it's kind of like, okay, now what? So the next product, that's why you're not gonna see me do a conditioner, but the next product is this spray on olive oil and mango butter anti-breakage leave-in H2 conditioner. That is a mouthful. Um, and here it is. I'm just looking at the ingredients real quick. So I'm I'm looking for something, and I'll tell you what that is. And when I get to the product that I found the ingredient in, but this is they tell you back here moisturizing. Wait to use shampoo and rinse hair well, spray leave it liberally into hair, gently comb through, and that's what I tried to do. Like I sprayed this in after the after I shampoo, which I don't know what I was thinking because that just didn't sound right to me from the get-go but I was like I'm gonna give it a try because that's what you're telling me to do so I'm gonna give it a try and I did ladies if you get this you will not be able to detangle your hair with this in it so and, and I learned that the hard way trial and error right so I, I washed this out right away and I I used my own conditioner to detangle my hair because I, it, impossible um, we don't have children's hair there's no spray that's gonna melt our tangles away that I'm aware of so I, I don't I don't see the reason for this product because there's another leave-in in the line I don't what is this I just don't I don't understand this product and I don't think I'm gonna be using it again because it just I mean for leave-in I like my leave-ins to have a little bit of texture not this spray type of leave-in 
just just didn't for me it just doesn't make any sense doesn't work for me just not my cup of tea um i i really wish that they had a freaking washout conditioner in this line and they don't so then um and we're gonna get to smells in a minute i know i didn't smell those but they all smell the same to me so the next product i use like i said there's two leave-ins and i use this this leave-in i do like and it's the mango i mean the oil olive oil and mango burner anti-breakage leave-in conditioner and this is it right here a big old tub of it 15 ounces and i did like this i really did like this this went into my head nice and smoothly it made my curls pop my hair felt and looked hydrated with this product in it this this does get a thumbs up for me i did like this um product right here let's go to smells i know what y'all all be waiting for the smells um and i was telling my girlfriend about how this product this line smells all right you could smell the mango definitely that's the first whiff you get but if i continue to smell it it stinks to me like if i if i do a quick oh, okay mango but then if you continue to smell it it smells like oh lord like feet like it doesn't smell good to me it's just like mm -mm, i don't like the way it smells like initially yes but then after you keep smelling it it just annoys me and it stinks to me but <laughs> yeah oh the consistency of this is very it's very thick as you can see very very thick Sort of like their moisturizer, if you've tried their moisturizer before. But once you put it into the hair, it just melts into your hair. So it doesn't stay, doesn't, didn't leave any clumps or anything like that in my hair. It just melts right into the hair. So very nice. This, um, probably my favorite product in the line, I will say. Uh, like I said, very nice, very moisturizing. So get a thumbs up from me. The next product I use and the product that I have the issue with with one of their ingredients is the olive oil and mango butter growth oil and this is it and i use this oil to seal in my leave-in now this is eight ounces it's just oil it's just a bunch of oils in here and i i I didn't look at the ingredients prior to putting this product in my hair but then when I when I stopped and I sat down and I looked at it um, I looked at the other ingredients in the other products I did look at them after I found this one in here this has para a paraben in it and I you know I'm not a, I'm not an ingredient snob but one ingredient that I try to stay away from is parabens and if you don't know what parabens are pause go google it go look it up um, and, and, and you'll see why, but I'm not going to get into it in this video, but just go do the research for yourself. And that kind of bothered me because nothing else in the line has a paraben in it, but this does. And I don't understand why, and I don't like it. Um, it's an oil. It's a, uh, it's, it's a mix of a lot of different oils in here. A lot of good oils. Like they, they totally jacked it up by throwing uh, a paraben in here. They really, really did. Um, and, and whatnot but um I, I will not be using this again it's it's a nice oil but i just won't be using it because i just feel i don't know kind of upset that that's in there the paraben that a paraben is in here when it's not in any other place in the line and honestly you can get the same results sealant or whatever by um using uh, an oil of your choice i use coconut oil and i prefer coconut oil this oil is really thick um, and that's how it felt going into my hair it was really thick as far as the whole growth thing growth oil uh, That's like I said before. It's really gimmicky um, And I don't like that. I don't think that this oil is going to make your hair grow. There's nothing in here that you can't buy separately um, There's nothing in here that you know that you can't get on your own and have it be a hundred percent natural um, but this mm, No in my opinions All right the next and last product I used because there's uh, three products in the line that I didn't use, but this was the last product that I used was the olive oil and mango butter curl defining pudding. And I was really excited about this right here. Um, and I'll show you the texture. Very thick, creamy texture. Um, like I said before, just like the um, conditioner, it melts into your hair. Um, so not a problem with it, you know, creating residue or those little balls that you get sometimes. I just melt it right into my hair. It felt good going into my hair. Um, but now the results and, and you guys can see, like I am a frizzy mess, like right here, like this product, um, 
you can see but some places my curls are nice like right here I wish all my curls looked like this and then and then you got this where you got some curls that <laughs> that sprung to life and some that just were like mm, whatever so I wish that all of it looked like this because if it all looked like this I'd be happy but then I got these frizz patches that you can see um, the product has little to no hold whatsoever so I'm trying not to touch it because I, I, I gotta go to work tomorrow so I don't want to redo my hair but I'm a frizzy mess I mean you guys can see that you guys have seen my hair look better with other products it's just it's just not enough for me it's just not a good hold for me so I don't I don't like it I, I I just don't because of that because I'm a frizzy mess I like I said maybe tomorrow maybe second day hair will be better but like if I had to go out right now and my hair looked like this I would be pissed out I just would it just yeah so that's like I'll stick to my uh, my other curling puddings that I know never fail me um now getting on to the products that I didn't try and this is where I think that they were like <laughs> overkill um except for that one moisturizers there's just there's two moisturizers in here I don't know why and I still have the tape on them because I like I said I wasn't I don't I'm, I don't with these moisturizers I've used the original and this is the original formula this is the the uh, olive oil mango butter moisturizer that I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have used and I've I had it before the original formula I mean the, when it had the original packaging this is just a new packaging same formula in here um, and I used that and I didn't like it it's just it's not for me like I don't put a moisturizer on top of my wash and goes because I could I prefer to use oils and it's just to me it just it's a little bit too heavy for me so if you've seen it before you know what it looks like uh, you know they just changed the packaging everything else is the same so I really can't well I can review it because I've tried it before and I know I didn't like it. it's just too heavy um, and I don't do braid outs and twist outs I think this is more so for a product for for the ladies that do the braid outs and twist outs I hear really good things about it but like I said I don't know so I can't really give you my opinion on this and when I'm saying that they did like they overkill then they have another moisturizer that I um, didn't and I'm not going to use either because I just don't do creamy moisturizers and this is an olive oil and mango butter growth moisturizer here we go with the word growth again just scanning the, the the ingredients really quick all right um I didn't use it I'm gonna show you what it looks like it looks like the the more it looks like this it looks like so I just I'm kind of like funny about it and the ingredients are are, are very very similar not exactly the same but very very similar you know certain ingredients might be at the top where on this it might be at the bottom so that's kind of funny and like I said I don't see anything in here that's gonna make your hair grow please don't 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 fall into that trap of the uh, the gimmicky wording that some companies use um, like growth and um, anti shrinkage don't fall into that trap you know so and then the last product um, is and I might be using this one I don't know but I I'm, I'm just in my wash and go phase right now and I've been for a long time and it's the olive oil and mango butter curl wax now that that name is kind of funny to me I expected something waxy and what this is it's smooth straight and press curl uh, and then what it, I'm gonna tell you what it's for moisturizing butter of mango oil gives heat protection while leaving hair texture incredibly soft silky smooth with great body and shine perfect for revisions resistant hairstyle heat styling to create long lasting curls so I guess if you're doing heat styles you would use this <laughs> I don't know I don't use heat like that on my I don't use you guys know I don't use curling irons I don't use flat irons I just that's not my thing and this is what it looks like it's green and when you see the word wax when I see the word wax I think something hard in texture you know but this is like um, it's not I wouldn't call it hard it's like the the texture of some like almost like a like a pomade type texture um so um i w you know what this would be good too i would say you know and i didn't use it so i don't know so this is my opinion this would be good if you do like flexi rod sets or or things like that but at the same time i think that it might be too heavy it might leave a lot of residue on your hair um i don't know if i would put a flat iron or or, or curling iron on top of this but 
that that's it right there so that's the whole um elasta qp um olive oil and mango butter line just to recap what it is that i got i just show you the curl wax the mango butter moisturizer and then uh, the growth moisturizer the growth oil the leave-in conditioner the curl defining pudding the leave-in h2 conditioner and the moisture butter shampoo so that's the entire line right there um, hopefully this was helpful for any of you that are thinking of trying uh, this line out if you have any questions or any concerns leave them in the leave them in the comment section I'll try to put all the ingredients if I can find them I'll try to put them all in the description box so hopefully this was helpful to y'all and I'll talk to you guys soon bye